Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some warm and humid conditions across this morning. Seeing temperature already up to 84 degrees as of 10 a.m. We continue to see those temperatures rise with the southwesterly, the west southwesterly flow we have this morning, seeing lower 90s expected for this afternoon. We'll also have no chance of precipitation or lightning today and just the warm and humid conditions. Heat in the seas will be near 100 degrees this afternoon briefly before the sea breeze cools us off for this afternoon. Looking at our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 13,000 feet. Winds are the strongest out of the low levels at 1,000 feet at 27 knots out of the west-southwest. Then winds become light and more variable between 3 and 9,000 feet, seeing winds about 5 to 10 knots, and then seeing winds between 10 to 15 knots from 12 to 25,000 feet, and winds becoming more northwesterly in the upper levels this morning. So taking a look at our current surface analysis, we have Tropical storm, storm Elsa making landfall in uh, around the Big Bend of Florida, seeing a lee trough across the Mid Atlantic region this morning with a Bermuda high off the coast. Going to see some pop up showers and thunderstorms well north and west of our region along the Appalachian Mountains today. We'll stay dry here, but we'll have our rain shower chances increase once we move into tomorrow evening and especially uh, Friday, early Friday morning with. Tropical storm Elsa moving through the region. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a little bit of cirrus cloudiness off the coast, seeing cloudiness off the southwest as well. We're currently seeing anywhere from mostly sunny to mostly clear skies across the region this morning, seeing a bit of a milky appearance in the satellite, and that's due to some residual uh, smoke in the atmosphere this morning due to some Canadian wildfires. Uh, overall today, we'll continue to see these mostly sunny skies, just a few fair weather cumulus clouds to develop this afternoon. Taking a look at their GFS model for the next few days, you can see here as Elsa moves through Georgia and to South Carolina tomorrow, and then through North Carolina tomorrow afternoon, rain shower chances increase in our region once we get past uh, tomorrow evening, and seeing those rain shower chances really increase overnight on Thursday into Friday, especially early Friday morning. We'll see a chance of some heavier rainfall uh, associated with this tropical system moving through some breezy to windy conditions, expecting winds gusting anywhere from about 30 to 40 miles an hour in the region. And we'll also see a slight chance of some stronger to severe thunderstorms with the increased wind shear across the region. Once the Tropical storm moves well north and east of our region. We'll see some drying conditions for Friday afternoon. Looks like a warm and humid Friday afternoon. We'll see a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms once we move into Friday evening. And we'll continue to see uh, those showers and thunderstorms possible during the early overnight hours or early morning hours of Saturday. So move into Saturday, should see some drier conditions across the region, a weak area, high pressure building in. And then for Sunday, we'll see another boundary starting to approach the region that's going to give us a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. And we'll continue to see that Bermuda High building in the region for Monday and Tuesday. That's going to give us diurnal chances of showers and thunderstorms during the evening hours, as well as hot and humid conditions for Monday and into Tuesday. So taking a look at Tropical Storm Elsa currently at 65 miles per hour, and that could be generous as uh, most observations are showing uh, winds less than that currently, seeing a northward, northward movement excuse me, at 14 miles an hour, and that system is going to be moving as a tropical storm through the southeast states up into our region, and by Friday at 2 local, it's going to be uh, pretty much over the Delmarva Peninsula, giving us some rain showers and some breezy conditions. Taking a look at the satellite imagery of Elsa this morning, you can see we do have that uh, burst of convection near the center this morning. However, it is uh, continuing to move on land and should continue to move uh, to weaken as we move into the day today. And taking a quick look at our tracks for Elsa, you can see that it's going to move through the southeast states in a good agreement. It's going to move over the Delmar Peninsula early Friday morning. So taking a look at a risk chart for a day, a high of 91 today, a low of 76 tonight, seeing southwesterly winds, the west-southwesterly winds this morning, possibly gusting up to 17 knots, and then we'll see a sea breeze come on shore uh, for later this afternoon with a gust possibly up to 21 knots, sustained 10 to 15 knots. 
Overnight, we'll see the winds return more southwesterly at 7 to 12 knots, and then by tomorrow morning, see a bit more breezy conditions, southwest 8 to 13, gust to 18 knots. As I mentioned, no chance of precipitation or lightning today. The only risk highlighted here is the possibility of seeing those heat indices at or greater than 100 degrees briefly this afternoon. As far as our 24-hour terminal forecast, going to see VFR conditions the next 24 hours. We'll see a thickening of the mid and upper level clientess overnight, and we'll see some filtered sunshine for tomorrow morning. Our tides are going to be running normal and looking at Thursday and Friday. Thursday, partly to mostly cloudy, breezy, and warm, with a slight chance of a late afternoon shower or evening rain shower. We'll see a very slight chance of a thunderstorm as well. We'll have a breezy conditions across the regions I mentioned. We'll have a high of 84 degrees. Precipitation chances during the evening look to be about uh, 20 to 30 percent. We'll see those winds possibly gusting up to 25 knots during the afternoon on Thursday. Thursday night, cloudy with rain likely. Chance of an abetted thunderstorm as well. Some of the rain could be heavy at times, and some of the thunderstorms could be strong to severe. We'll see breezy to windy conditions, a low of 74 degrees. Rain shower chances near 100 percent. Thunderstorm chances around 50 percent. And we'll see those winds gusting over 25 knots. Our ceilings could be below 500 feet or visibility below a mile with the heavier rainfall moving through. And for Friday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies and breezy conditions during the morning, then partly cloudy during the afternoon with isolated showers and thunderstorms. During the late afternoon and evening, we'll see a high of 87 degrees, uh, yellow for our precipitation, lightning, and winds. As I mentioned, winds will be there in the morning on Friday and the thunderstorms and the precipitation would be during the evening hours. So for the next seven days, we'll have that slight chance of a rain shower tomorrow afternoon in the evening hours, a 90 to 100% chance of rainfall for Thursday into Friday with Tropical Storm Elsa tracking through the region. We'll see a 25 to 20% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms late Friday. Saturday looks like a dry day across the region, high of 85 degrees. And Sunday, we'll see more scattered showers and thunderstorms with a weak boundary moving through the region, high of 86. And then we'll see warm to humid conditions, excuse me, warm and humid conditions for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s for highs and overnight lows in the upper 70s. We'll see slight chances of diurnal showers and thunderstorms, especially during the evening on Monday of Tuesday and Tuesday of next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 at 10 a.m.